Good morning, modern standards. Cold this morning on the homestead so far. 14 below zero Fahrenheit. Burr. We gotta get Gina's car warmed up. See if it starts. Ready? Let's see. Come on. <laughs> it did. Look at that. We gotta see if we can get a better shot of that moon. It might be cold out, but we gotta get some of these awesome images. Man, that's beautiful. I wish it was showing up better on the camera. What a clear sky, too. Did he go out? No. no, it's too cold. He didn't want to. Yeah. I don't blame him. Figaro still doesn't know what to think of Mr. Tanner. Isn't that a beautiful moon this morning? That one right there. These are the ones with the lights inside the house. Look at all the bones. <laughs> we got like six of them. It's even giving the sky a nice like pinkish purple hue to it. Wonder how the chickens are doing. Did you guys survive the cold chilly night? Looks like you did. The ducks are king of the mountain this morning. Get some more light in here, help it warm up quicker. Yeah, that'll be nice when the sun comes out for them. Crazy ducks. I'm out here cleaning your car and you're waiting. Oh, I think this is backwards. Want to pick that wiper up for a second? I just want to get some of that ice off. Stay warm. Love you. bit of grain to help keep them warm today. This is for the goats. You think you want to go out, but it's pretty cold, Figaro. Luckily, Olivia got a two hour delay this morning. She doesn't have to wait outside in the coldest part of the morning. So, that'll be nice. Sure is pretty this morning. Ugh. Good morning. You girls getting cabin fever? Huh? Later today, I'll let you out. It's supposed to warm up. I gotta keep their feet up high when I give them water so they don't get it. Come on. Tomorrow we're supposed to get into the 30s. Ah, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna feel so warm. I'm gonna clean up the goat pen out here with the Kubota, give the girls some more room. I bet they're gonna love it. The day after that, it's supposed to be 40s and rain, and then change back to snow, and we don't need rain. Not if it's gonna get cold again. If we're gonna get rain, it's gonna warm up and stay warm, I'm all for that. But this time of the year, we'll get rain, and then it's gonna freeze, turn to ice, and doesn't make for a good situation. 
I gotta bring Tana to his first vet appointment this morning. Then get checked out. Probably get a shot or two and they'll just look him over and see how he's doing. Blossom. You trying to get your mom's feed there, Buttercup? You ate all yours. Yeah. Once it starts to warm back up, I'm gonna cut the two kid goats, Blossom and Buttercup, back to just hay. But being this cold, I like giving them alfalfa pellets. That way I know they're gonna stay warm. But they're a little on the bigger side right now, we'll say. But I know they're warm. You're waiting for me, Figaro. You ready to go back in? I don't blame you. I'm ready to go back in too. He's hiding. He doesn't, oh. Since you have a two hour delay, and since I gotta take Tanner to the vet at nine, yeah. and you don't gotta be at school till 10 really, you wanna go with me to the vet? Or do you wanna take the, sit on a cold bus? You wanna go to the vet? Yeah. All right. Is that better than sitting on a cold bus? Yeah. And then I'll bring you to school? Yeah. Awesome. Ready Pluto? Oh, there's your other sock you threw off. We try putting booties on Pluto too, and she never leaves them on. You're not going in the deep snow, are you? How you ladies doing? Huh? You look good. Looks like you must. Looks like you must be staying warm. Better grab these eggs. Hopefully they haven't froze yet. No. Oh, that one's not cracked either. This one I'm kind of worried about. It's way in the back. Oh, no cracks. Nice. Last one. Let's see. What? Wow, on a cold morning like this, and not one of those eggs has a crack in it. That's awesome. The snow is getting deep. Barn and moose. Enjoy your warm water. Those eggs must have just been laid within the last probably five or 10 minutes would be my guess. Since none of them are frozen or cracked, so that's awesome. When we put booties on Pluto, she does good until she starts running fast. You know how she gets gone and she starts running like a crazy hyena? Whatever we've used for booties, they just fly off of her. They can't stand her high speed that she runs. I think she defies gravity. This egg is pretty warm still. This one's really warm. That must have just been laid right before we get out there. And these two are cold. I bet you another couple more minutes and they would have froze. So I'm glad we were out there when we were. You ready for your first vet visit there, Tanner? Don't worry, Pluto. You don't gotta go to the vet and get any shots. Yeah. 
veterinarian place. You ready? You think so? First time. And is it okay if we get pictures for our Facebook page? It is. So is that pounds or kilograms? Uh, uh, pounds. That is pounds. Exactly five pounds. Five pounds. Look how big you are. Oh my goodness. Come on down this way. It's like all these new places. Yeah. When did you end up getting this guy? Did you get your shots, Tanner? Did you have a good first visit there, Tanner? Oh, you almost slipped. all tuckered out from going to the vet and dropping Olivia off at school. We're home, you ready to go in? <laughs> On herding dogs, there's a test you should have done called MDR1. A test to let you know if your herding dog is sensitive to different kind of drugs, like dewormers and stuff like that. It's not just Australian Shepherds, it's all herding dogs. It's a gene that they can get. I'm gonna go to the, this website right here to order a kit so we can get Tanner tested. I couldn't show you any more of the process of ordering the test kit online because I was asking for all my confidential information. But when we get the kit, it's going to be a cheek swab for Tanner. When we get it, I'll show you how we do it and then we'll share the results. We put Pluto's water and food up high so you wouldn't get into it, Tanner. I guess as long as it's just her water. We're also working on crate training Tanner, so right now he's up in his crate for a little while. So if you hear any noise during our next project, that's Tanner. This stove has been running for a while, so I just want to clean it out and make sure everything's good. On our stove right here, we got a handle and it shakes the grates. I'm going to close the door, it's kind of dusty. And it lets any debris fall down into a pan down below. There we go. I want to clean that out. Normally I would dump this in my compost pile on my garden or in my ash bucket. But everything is buried in way too much snow right now. So I'm gonna stick it over here in the edge of the driveway where it's out of the way. It's one thing about all the snow is you can't get to a lot of places. What are you doing, Figaro? You coming in? Luckily we had a place out of the way where we can dump it. You enjoying the heat from the wood stove, Pluto? Really been burning up the wood with the cold temperatures we've been having the last couple of days.
Gina made a nice big batch of American chop suey the other day. Get some warming up for dinner. Usually after it sit for a few days, it tastes even better. I'll add some shredded cheese to it. like a heat wave out here. It's 10 degrees above zero, right? Woohoo! Have to let the goats out, let them run around. I can't wait to come down here and clean this up with the Kubota and give the goats some more room. Pull on the door. Pull the door in. Don't take off, Pluto. That's fine. I'll get it tomorrow. You girls want to come out? Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do. There we go. I bet they'll like this outside. Girls gonna come out? Come on. You know you want to. been locked out for like two days. All locked in, I should say. Like, yeah, I don't care for the snow. That's some good hay. Is it nice to be out of the barn and getting some fresh air? I'm ready to go see how many frozen eggs we got in New York City. Yes. Gonna have to go around. Yep. Have fun, Willow. Oh, that sun looks so nice. Look at this winter landscape, so pretty. Even though it's so cold, one egg and I don't think it froze awesome <laughs> bonus <sighs> I'm sinking 
down to my knees. Tanner's not happy we put him in the kennel. You can hear him barking. did really well at the vet today he didn't care so much for the shot which I can't blame him I still don't like to get shots myself I'm sure there's not many of you all that care to get shots but he did good he got a good clear vet bill we're gonna get him tested for the MDR1 gene I'm thinking in like two weeks we should be getting that test kit in and I'll show you what we what we need to do I don't really know yet and then it'll probably take another week or two before we get the results but from my understanding is it's a gene they have, must be a mutation or something, and the herding dogs, if they have it, something happens where they don't do well with certain kind of prescription drugs for animals. So we got to be careful, especially if we're going to get them neutered. They want to know before they do any kind of surgeries if he has that gene or not. So fingers crossed that all goes well. You just never know. Thanks guys for coming along on our journey with us. We're so glad you're here with us. You are a true blessing to our family. And we hope you guys are just having a great day and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.